This is Bwendero Sugar Factory in Hoima District that will commence production by end of this year. It will bring to three sugar processors in Bunyoro, including Kinyara and Hoima Sugar. But the promoters of the business highlight running challenges ahead. Tied up money here and there. You have an agreement with somebody, 100 acres, 200 acres, because we are developing cane. We are growing cane as, uh, to feed our sugar plant that is supposed to start operating, start crashing in December. Putting up the machines, it is a 1,000 tons per day of cane uh, plant. Businessman John Magara's concerns was part of several others, from entrepreneurs in Greater Bunyoro, who were attending a business-to-business -business engagement on financing, arranged by the Uganda Development Bank. We request you to take our cry and tell the government on our behalf that the farmers down this way are dying. We shall get the loans, we shall dig, we shall get out the, the outcome, the products, but at the end of the day when we sell, we may not realize the money to pay back. For example, we are in a fruit growing and we want to establish a roadside market. We have our land and we cannot put structures, probably. Do you come in along that line? From UDB to actually bid for these contracts, if they are one, how easily can we access financing from you to be able to execute these contracts? According to the Ministry of Finance, Planning and Economic Development, the state-owned development bank will closely be monitored in order to live on its national mandate. We realize that actually management was not doing enough to actually take UDB to the people. And we gave a directive that they need to have a protracted agenda to take UDB to the people, not to wait for the people to come to UDB. Even then, the lender, while in urgent need of additional capitalization to meet a market demand of nearly a trillion shillings, is asking business owners to shape up their projects and snap up the available resources. Our rents are really very competitive. There is no bank that would offer, say, agriculture loans at 10% or 12%. And that is not your prime rate, but that is your um, kind of final rate. The extended growth period, um, this is where you implement the project until a time when it's able to generate cash flows to be able to service the loan, and then you begin recovering, you know, principal and in some cases interest. Reina Ojun, NTV Business.